What's going on? Another video from the infamous Thompson's Kennels. What's going on? Flash Flash. What's going on, Flash Flash? What's going on, boy? This video is going to be about seasonal allergies, allergy, allergy related issues with dogs. Um, had a partner hit me up, was going through the same thing I was going through. That's on Black Orca right there. That's a grandson to Proud Mary. Direct son off of the Black Mary dog. But he was hitting me up. And there's a lot of people have been going through this with the seasonal allergies. A lot of guys are trying to figure out if it was fungal, anti fungal, insect related, food related. The main thing with the allergies, what I tell people, pretty much how this goes is you got to figure out what it is. If it's a fungal thing or it's an insect thing, fire ants, mosquitoes, biting flies, the same way me and you get bit by a mosquito. Hold on, did I say this is another video from the infamous Thompson's Kennels coming live to you from Hudwoods? Just in case I forgot. But Buck had it real bad. And this is just a seasonal allergy. He's never had it before. We had the storms, the rain, high humidity. It was a lot of heat, you know, just allergic reaction. He's back to normal now. He's been in the kennel for two weeks, but you need to figure out what it is. Because like I said, just like we get bit by a mosquito, and you scratch, your body's having an allergic reaction to the bite. Same thing with wasps, bees, anything like that. So you got to understand the process. And what you want to do is use a medication or a medicine that's going to stop the itching. Because the itching is what's causing the real damage. If you get bit by a mosquito, like I said, and you don't scratch it, and then it turns into a sore and all that, and you didn't scratch it and you just left it alone, it'll go back down and disappear but if you one of those people who itch and scratch and scratch the skin off of it and everything now it's something else that's the allergic reaction and you got to be able to catch it before it gets to a point where they're ripping their fur out and scratching and they're messed up and bloody and shit i i just caught it when the sun was hitting certain dogs the right way i could see these little lumps underneath their fur so there's a lot of things you can use like I said, the tea tree oil shampoo is great. There's been a been a lot of back and forth about Benadryl. I've used Benadryl on my dogs for certain light light allergic reactions, but a great medicine to use that a lot of people use for a lot of other stuff, but don't really know that it's a great allergen stopper is dexamethasone. So when you're dealing with the dexamethasone, you know, one cc is your friend. Don't don't go over that marker now. But it's great for inflammation, great for immune systems, it's great for blood disorders, inflammatory issues, but what you really need to read about it is it's great for stopping allergic reactions to shit. Like I've I've heard dogmen that use dexamethasone for snake bites. So that's a great Great medicine to use, you know, get with your vet. Like I said, I've been telling you guys for years and years and years, man, get a vet, find a good vet. I don't know why people don't like to do that, but they don't like to find a good vet. But get a good vet that deals with country, a country vet that deals with a lot of livestock and shit like that. And they're way easier to work with than your normal city vet. But the dexamethasone, you can pop them with a CC of that to stop the itching. Because that's where... What's up, man? Because <laughs> that's where the damage occurs. It's from the itching and the scratching and, and shit like that. So Benadryl works if you don't have any decks. Like I said, it's a lot of debates if it works or not. I'm not saying it's the, the greatest thing since sliced fucking bread. But um, what you call, it does work to an extent. But the decks is what I've, I've used that I've seen the best results in as far as it just stopping the itching. And once you stop the itching... You can go ahead and use your tea tree oil shampoo, your antibacterial. The antibacterial antifungal shampoo is good. It does red mange if you have that kind of issue going on. But at the same time, like I said, you could use it even though if you don't have a fungal issue, it still does antibacterial, especially if the dog has scratched and made wounds and stuff. You know, you can't go wrong with using the antibacterial stuff. Uh, Black Orca. This is his grandmother, Proud Mary. <laughs> She's an old bitch. And like I said, Mary sometimes gets allergies and stuff. 
and like I said, the dexamethasone. I'm just glad to get this guy back to normal because he looks like he looked like a fucking shelter dog. And this is a slow process, so a lot of you guys who have this going on, just don't think you're going to give the medicine out and your fur and everything's going to be back to normal the next day. It's going to be a process. So, like I said, keep up with your um, antibacterial, antifungal shampoo, your tea tree oil shampoo. And I fucking hate it to death, but fucking new stock. I, I mean, I really hate it to death because I, I hate the fucking odor of that shit. I, I really do. It's like I go to, even if I take a deep deep shower and scrub and everything with dawn when i go to sleep it's like i can still smell that shit on me and you're going to smell it on your dogs but new stock does do wonders these are all the stuff that you want to use to promote the fur growth after the um what you call the allergic reaction is resolved where you could get them to stop scratching and itching then you can go ahead and treat the wounds get the fur to grow back but it's going to be a slow process very slow process mary 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 and like I said, I haven't really seen too many um, food allergen issues with my dogs. It's not saying it's unheard of, but what you call, I haven't really seen food issues like that. It's mostly been either insect bites or the seasonal allergies, depending on how the weather. And this year was a really rough summer, and I, I never really had this issue at all since I've been living on this property. But this summer here, it, it popped up at the end of summer over the last month, I want to say. So, you know, I had a homeboy. My partner, Jay, out there in California, he got a dog from me, and he said he was seeing some of the stuff. And I said, man, I was dealing with the same shit. So, you know, we just try to share the info. You know, I try to, if I have information that'll help you guys, because I know a lot of guys. Because, you know, with me, I can't fucking stand that, that, like, you know, my dog's not looking the way they're supposed to look. So it becomes a very aggravating fucking thing after a while. When you're dealing with something like this, it really sucks. But also, the blue coat works well if you got fungal issues, but, you know... The best thing is you want to get the dogs off the ground. That's why the kennels are important. Because when I'm doing anything medical with the dogs, I like to keep them off the ground so they're in a the kennel. So whatever I'm using, I can see their bowel movements. I can see everything that's on the deck. So I know what's going on with the dogs. Buck, buck. Buck, buck. <laughs> His son is laying back there somewhere. But what you call, you want, you want to get them up off the ground, keep them in a clean environment. And just understand it's not going to be a, a quick, easy resolution to it. Because like I said, it takes time for fur to grow back. And for you brothers that live in the city and stuff, because I'm out here in the country. But, you know, for you brothers that live in the city and this shit happens to you and now you're nervous because oh, all it takes is for your neighbor to stick their head over the fence and shit. And see a dog missing some fur or a pat, a little patches. Because the, the allergens that I was seeing, it would start with little bumps on the hindquarters. It wasn't ringworm. You know, I went and got everything tested but it'll start with little bumps on the hindquarters and then when they scratch it and the, the allergen reaction is stopped you'll have a little perfect circle of missing fur it almost looks like ringworm but it's not ringworm and from when i talked to my vet dog dogs dogs in general he said really don't get ringworm like that not saying it's possible but it's usually a very small percentage of dogs that happen to so if you you got a vet i mean you got if you're in the suburbs and you got nosy neighbors and you got this going on with one of your dogs and you don't want them to f call the people on you and all this bullshit. If you got a black dog, even if it's not a fungal thing, I, I would use blue coat, spray them down with blue coat on a black dog. It'll cover up the patches and stuff. So it's not just it doesn't look horrible. It may not be doing the medical justice, but, you know, just something where if you're nervous about somebody harassing you because a lot of people don't understand this is how this shit goes with dogs things happen you know they're gonna have fur loss what's going on yellow queen i just fed up everybody try to feed up real early in the morning or real late at night depending on how shit is with this weather because we're still getting like 90 something 100 degree days down here but you can use that cover up some of the, the spots and stuff you know because it's like you always got to think 10 steps ahead of the bullshit that can happen to you dealing in these dogs so you know, I hope some of this information was useful to you guys. Like I said, the tea tree oil, the Benadryl, the new stock, the blue coat. Slow down drinking all that water. The blue coat, the dexamethasone, you know, a lot of this stuff you guys need keeping your, keep your cabinet. Get good with a vet so you can get the prescription. And, you know, hopefully this information helps some of y'all brothers. 
but that was my input on the allergen allergen and allergy reactions you know treat your yard for fire ants if it is an insect allergy related issue with fire ants or mosquitoes or something like that and you know i i used to have um manny back in the day he was allergic to flea bites he could get one flea on him and he'll look like a shelter dog in a couple of days r.i.p manny but you know that's just something know the lineage of your dogs and what's going on but i gotta go ahead and finish clean sorry about that got a phone call but I think that was a oh yeah skin yeast infections as well dog uh, any short hair breed they can get skin yeast infections as well also if you into like the home the home remedy kind of thing you can use the apple cider vinegar to bathe the dogs for the skin yeast infections that's a little bit more easy to diagnose because there's an odor that comes with the skin yeast infections so if you you notice the dog has a, a weird odor and that usually doesn't happen on the, the back side of the dog. It usually happens underneath their armpits, their groin area, anywhere where it's moist. And you see that discoloration of skin and fur underneath from them licking. That's usually a skin yeast infection. So you can spray them down with apple cider vinegar. And that, the. Uh, let me remember how this went with that shit. Give me a second. Yeah, the apple cider vinegar or vinegar it raises the pH level so the yeast can't grow and multiply. So I, I, it raises the pH level so it, it stops it from being able to spread if you're dealing with the skin yeast infections. And like I said, that's real common, but like I said, that usually doesn't take place on the backside or the dog, like as he's showing his belly and shit, it'll be underneath the armpits in the groin area. But like I said, man, I hope some of this in information was useful and helpful. Um, Hope all is well in YouTube land. And he was chilling here with the Thompson man during the allergy video. <laughs> Y'all have a blessed one.